What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today as you can see here, I have a variety of gloves in front of me and that's what we're gonna be discussing today. We're gonna be talking uh, about the difference between each and every one of them. If you're a beginner into boxing and you're looking to buy your first pair of gloves or if you're experienced in boxing and, and you're looking to get the next pair of gloves, we're gonna be discussing the, the difference between them right now. Uh, we're gonna start off with the uh, with the MX Everlast here. It's actually um, it, it ain't ounce, eight ounce glove uh, MX Everlast uh, used a lot in professional in professional fighting. Consider the punches glove by many uh, similar to a Reyes, uh, very similar to a Reyes. Actually, I've had the experiences of wearing both the VMX and, and the Reyes um, uh, throughout my my boxing career. I wore many gloves, and we're, and I'm also gonna be talking to you guys about the experiences with them, so you guys uh, can. Pick and choose which one, which one is, is of your best benefit. Okay, let's get to it. Like I said, consider a, a punches glove very soft. Actually, if uh, if you if if a metaphor works for y'all, it's uh, you, you can use that as a or if you want to use that as a comparison. Uh, pretend pretend that you're you're in a mattress and you have a very cheap mattress. You you go to the to the furniture store and you buy a very cheap mattress. Uh, basically, this is what this is. It's actually very soft. So maybe if you were to sleep with something like this, it wouldn't be the the most comfortable spot. But when it comes to wearing the glove, it's actually quite comfortable and, uh, like I said, very soft. So when you, when the opponent feels the impact, um, you know you're able to see your knuckles quite quite into the opponent's uh, face, as you can see the whole swelling when it comes to when it comes to fighting. Uh, Worn many times, like I said, uh, consider the punches glove. If you tend to have a fragile hands, this may not be the best fit for you since there is an in, there there is a, a lot of protective padding on on the glove surface here. Uh, mo mostly known, um, the glove is mostly known by, by, uh, is, is mostly known to be worn by, by a lot of knockout artists, uh, you know, big punchers tend to wear it a lot. I actually like using, uh, the 8 ounce gloves itself, it doesn't need to be a mix for, for heavy back workout, uh, for heavy bags, I'm not a big fan of using sparring gloves since you want to sink your knuckles and strengthen your hands, so, smarter gloves are, are my go-tos when it comes to hitting the back, so, the MX server that's here, like I said, very soft, um, not too much padding in it. So if you have fragile hands, they may not be the best way for you. If you're a big puncher, the MX is, a, is, is the one is the one you should go to, you should go for. Next, we have another MX server that's here, but this is a 14 ounce. So used used to uh, use users used for sparring. Uh, I actually this was my first pair that I bought myself, and it was the first pair that I wore for heavy bag workout and the uh, sparring. So. Again, um, great, ex uh, good experience with it uh, for the for 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 the training, uh, sparring. Like I said, uh, I actually had a lot of issues when it came to sparring with these gloves. Um, I tend to hurt my hands a lot when I was punching, so not, maybe not the go-to's if if you got fragile hands, like like I mentioned. If you're a puncher and you have uh, no issues hurting uh, when it comes to hurting your hands, then you know you sh you should definitely tr try these out. Um, for sparring, it may not be the the most popular option. I do, I've seen a lot of um, a lot of individuals spar with uh, winning with uh, Grant. Also, Rivals actually uh, is actually making a lot of noise now when it comes to when it comes to sparring gear. But the MX here is actually uh, quite comfortable. I'm not, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. It was it was quite comfortable comfortable when it came to wearing it. But maybe not the best glove if you uh, once once collision takes takes uh, takes course or once once impact that takes takes action. Maybe not the best glove if you tend to have issues with it, but if you're a puncher, by all means go for it. Now we go to the Power Lock. Another another glove also made by the same brand of Everlast. This year it's also an 8 ounce glove. This was actually my favorite glove or one of the favorite gloves that I wore and had the best experiences with it. Uh, punching the heavy bag, it was actually a great option. Uh, never once that I experienced my hands being injured with this or my, my hands uh, being sore or hurt. I actually enjoyed them uh, when it came to hit, hitting the bag. I, I punched with a lot more confidence and had a lot more uh, security when it came to letting my hands go because I knew I wasn't going to get my hands injured. I also had a 14-ounce glove here, which I do not have anymore since I ended up selling them to one of my friends. Um, I, had a, I had a big 14-ounce glove of the, of the Power Lock uh, brand as well. And I used it for sparring, uh, like I said, a lot better experience with the Power Locks. But I know the Power Locks isn't the most... Uh, most uh, popular glove that would be used by professional or amateur fighters for for sparring like i said winning grant and uh rivar is now making a lot of noise when it comes to sparring gear so uh yeah those are those are the go-to's but like i said if you're if you're looking to not spend so much money in gear the power lock is the go-to like i said i truly recommend it um it's got a lot more sick a lot more security here than the than the mx the uh, eight ounce glove here 
So when it comes to punching, you'll be you'll have a more secure uh, protection on the hand. Plus the hand right beneath it, um, it'll feel a lot more secure, and you'll be able to punch with a lot more confidence. Whether using an eight-ounce glove to hit the bag or using the fourteen-ounce glove to spar. And now I'm actually gonna do these two simultaneously. I have the pro boxing glove here and the title here. These gloves are mostly known by by being uh, used or being part of the of the gear that gyms tend to let let gym members borrow, uh, such as beginners who who start going into boxing. Um, usually gyms or clubs tend to have title gloves or they tend to have uh, pro boxing supplies gloves. You can buy these also at the at the title title website as long uh, as as well as the, the the Everlast here. You can go to the Everlast website. But when it comes to these, uh, another fourteen ounce glove here. Um, use uses sparring uses for sparring. Like I said, I actually also uh, buy buy uh, this brand and also use this brand for my fighters when it comes to individuals who tend to not have gear of themselves. I tend I tend to buy these gloves so they can go ahead and and be able to train with the with the gear required. Um, not not the most expensive gloves, maybe not the most go to gloves, uh, since um, since they're, they're they're not they're maybe not the most popular when it comes to being worn whether by whether by amateurs or 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 pros. I do know that that amateur events for club for club shows they do tend to have the 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 amateur glove whether title goes or maybe even ringside, but these are a little more economic these are not that expensive um about 40 45 maybe 50 bucks with taxes for for this glove this one i cannot recall exactly but it was maybe like 60 dollars um this one here is actually sweat absorbent so if you're someone who likes to keep your gloves uh maybe not smelling so bad since your hands are going to be sweating in them this would not be maybe the the preferred glove to go to because it is sweat absorbent and it is going to require a lot of maintenance 10 ounce glove here so the reason why I got these gloves for my fighters is because uh, amateurs tend to fight in 10 ounce gloves. So I like uh, having my fighters, get, my fighters get accustomed to the glove size that they'll be wearing during events and during matches. So I like to get their hands accustomed to, to, the, to the feeling of the glove and the size of the glove. And also because like I said, uh, when it comes to, hit, to hitting the heavy bag, I'm not a big fan of using uh, big sparring gloves. I tend to have them use either 10 or 8 ounce, eight, eight ounce gloves depending on the weight category and if they're uh, in the profession or the amateur rankings um then it'll depend on the glove that i have them work but like i said tano's glove here um uh very very known for being a glove that a lot of that a lot of clubs or a lot of gyms uh tend to have as their gear for beginners who do not tend to have any any equipment or any any gloves of their own uh if you're a beginner and you're looking to to buy your first pair of gloves and if you're not too sure if you want to pursue this career or if you're barely getting into it and i would not recommend you buying a super expensive glove since you do not know if you're gonna be fully uh dedicated to it or if you're gonna be uh in it all the way if you're looking to maybe just try it out for a moment then i would recommend getting either title or the pro boxing supplies since like i said they're, they're not so expensive they're actually they're actually quite affordable so if 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 you're if you're new into it these are the go-to's if you're looking to maybe get a better brand then you could go try going to the Everlast. I know Ringside also has has some good some good options. Um, what else is out there? I do know that Rival is now is now coming out coming out with with more glove with more glove designs as well. Um, if you're a professional fighter or if you're an amateur fighter looking to jump into the pros uh, pretty soon, uh, like I said, uh, we have the eight ounce gloves here, Power Lock, um, MX Everlast um winning is also great i've actually had the experience of wearing winnings uh, a few times grand was even uh even greater grant and winning were were the the go-to's but if you're looking to buy nothing if you're looking to buy something that's not so expensive the power lock is great also power lock has been amazing uh pretty affordable as well and quite secure on my hands big puncher you got the mx everlast uh, for sparring gloves like i said uh we do have the title here um a lot of gyms uh, tend to have uh, title gloves or maybe maybe even a bigger 16 ounce pro boxing supply gloves here. Uh, for sparring, I do not recommend wearing the strap here. You want to use uh, the, the lace gloves. You know, you want to use the lace, the lace gloves here. Even for heavy bag workouts, I still want to recommend this. Uh, the lace gloves do tend to have a uh, better security on your hands and they do tend to be a lot better. So lace gloves would be my go-to's whether any workout goes, whether it's mid work, heavy back work, 
or sparring. Definitely those are going to be the, the preferred gloves over the, the strap here. Uh, yeah, like I said, a uh, very, very different. Uh, this one here is actually, um, I don't think I, I, I did a demonstration on this one uh, as quite as I did for the others. It's actually quite a lot stiffer, quite a lot stiffer of a glove here. Uh, maybe offer for more security. Uh, quite a lot stiffer, maybe because it may it may not be so so broken in either. But quite a lot stiffer here. Um, it is quite secure, quite secure here over the over the 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 MX Everlast since this is known as, as a puncher's glove, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, but a lot more a lot more secure here, a lot, a lot harder the padding. Like I said, it could be because it may not be broken in right now. But, but again, if you're looking to maybe buy your own sparring gear because you're tired of having to share or having to sink your hand into a sweaty glove that you know someone else wore. Let me let me tell you something. Uh, sticking your hands into gloves that um, that are that are oh, that only has your sweat is actually pretty comfortable. It's actually quite comfortable knowing that it's your sweat only. So if it's gonna be your first pair of sparring gloves and you're looking not to buy something something not so expensive, definitely check these out. Definitely check ringside. Once you tend that that you're that you're actually gonna pursue this and you want to do this for a uh, as a lot as a long term career. Then you can start looking into the more uh, expensive brands, into the more recognized brands, and you can go out from there. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this video was helpful for you in selecting your your glove. Um, I hope you 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 select the glove, the best gloves out there for you. Like I said, every every individual tends to have a preferred design, whether it's a punches glove, whether it's a more secure glove. Uh, yeah, I, I what I would what I would recommend is maybe try lending a, a pair of gloves try using a pair of gloves before you actually buy them you might buy a pair that you may think would be best for you and it turns out not to be it turns out to be the, the complete opposite so i would recommend buying uh if you're interested in buying a pair of gloves try try them out first have a buddy or have a gym a gym partner maybe a teammate have them let, lend you their gloves if you have a buddy who owns a pair of gloves that you're looking to buy have them uh, let you borrow them try them out maybe work out with them and then if you tend to like it then you can go on and uh and invest in yourself and that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, a lot more boxing content will be coming your way. As you can see, um, I'm actually going to be posting a lot more often. We have more matches coming up this year. 2024 is going to be great. A lot of boxing content will be coming your way.